So here is an excellent shot at that spout connector. It's this little guy right here. And uh, it's connected to the ignition system. That's some kind of control box a later deal for the ignition. When you pull that out, what that does is it breaks the circuit somehow in magical digital land that keeps this thing from advancing the timing electronically. So you warm it up to operating temp, shut it down, pull that plug out, fire it up, then you can loosen the uh, distributor, adjust your timing, which the hold down bolt for the distributor is right there. You can just see it. And uh, set your timing in, dial it in, your base timing, shut it down, plug that back in, fire it up, and then you can check it and see what you're advancing to. And then once you get it where you want it, you just lock the distributor back down. So that plug, critical to setting your base timing. If you try and adjust timing with that plug in, you're just going to be pulling your hair out because it's not going to work for you. It's just going to be keep trying to reset itself over and over by the computer. So that's the trick there. We are all buttoned and dialed up. I'm going to go ahead and clean up a little bit, put some of these tools back. And then I think uh, next step is going to be fire it up and check that timing. All right, so I'm going to show you. Here's that spout plug. And then from what I understand, it's basically just a jumper. I pulled it out from this block right here. I had to use both hands. So you just push those tabs away, yank this little guy out, put him somewhere safe because you're going to have to put him back in. So we're just going to set that right there. And I got it on video, so I'll remember. Uh, now we're going to fire it up. We're going to check that spot with the light and see what we can see. All right, I'm going to take you down into the depths with me and show you the timing marks on the crank for these. These are the things that are going to be the trickiest and the stuff that you'll most want to find in a video. So I figure I'll, I'll share so I can crawl underneath and figure it out so you don't have to. So here we go. My coolant leak is more significant than I thought, so that's not ideal. But let's get our light up on here and uh, situate it. Hold on one second. That's probably pretty good. And I'm going to try and zoom in on these marks. So here's your crank pulley, obviously, right here. And if you look, you can see... It's got a part number and then it says BTC 30, 20, 10, 0. And you have to trust me, but it goes around the other way. And at the end of that, it says ATC. So after top dead center and before top dead center. Obviously, what we're trying to do is get our before top dead center. Uh, stock is 10 degrees before top dead center on these. So it's that mark there you can see. And we're going to go. It looks like there's... At the 10, there's one, two, three, four marks in between. So it'd be what, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So we want to try and get it basically to between that second and third mark after the 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, uh, some plumber's putty pen, the pipe joint compound, which... I use for all kinds of random stuff. And we're gonna see if we can use that to mark the spot so it'll glow and light up a little better. And I'll show you where you check it from up top. All right, if you look, I've got, there's the 10 mark. I'm kind of right on that. I'm actually more like on the 12 degree mark. I'm not gonna get greedy. We're gonna see if we can dial it in at 12 degrees and see what that. Since uh, I'm a little new to this, YouTube thing and some of you guys might be a little new to the way I do things. It's kind of like dating, you know, you got to make sure you're not with a crazy person. So I'm going to show you how I do things. We're going to gap these plugs. So they're 042, most of them right off the bat. When you go to gap it, I put it right here in the opener, but you want to be careful not to let it get that tip of the spark plug, the electrode. You just want to get that ground strap up. Give it just a little bump. You don't have to go crazy. Check them. And that is ooh, almost right on the money. 05. 
055. We're going to run with that for all of them to start. 040. Give a little bump, but we're just going to go around. We're going to do this to all of them. I won't bore you with that, but we're going to go through. Just give them a little bit, and when you have to close them back down, you don't have to go crazy either. I usually just flip the gap tool over and just tap it a couple times just to give it a little. If you go crazy and whack it down on the counter, you're bending it all the way down. And I don't like to go adjusting back and forth, back and forth, because you're going to weaken your ground strap, which you don't want. So slow and steady, nice and meticulous. Take the extra 20 seconds and get it right.